In this video, we're doing overnighter to Mouse Tail Landing State Park, which is set on the eastern banks of the Tennessee River in Linden, Tennessee. This park is one of the youngest in our park systems, established in 1979. The name of the park comes from an event that happened during the Civil War, when a tannery that was known to be infested with mice caught fire and the mice fled in the direction of the landing. Hi right, guys, I hope you liked the entrance of this video. Um, I'm at camp. Look behind me. Look at this. This is gorgeous. This is what I got to wake up to, go sleep to. Sun sitting over, okay. But let me show you the campgrounds a little bit. Uh, gonna set the tent up over there, right over there in that little area. And probably back truck up a little more, put my cooking area right in this area. Got a nice little picnic table, got one of the grills, and then there's the fire pit. And since I am in a state park, there's a trash can. But if you'll see that, is the inlet. Now that's not a lake, that's part of the Tennessee River. And like I said in the beginning of this, um, Moose Tail Landing sits on the east bank of the Tennessee River. But uh, it's gorgeous here. I mean, look at the, look at this behind me. I mean, goodness. I mean, this this just, there's nobody right beside me. There's nobody on the other side of me. There's somebody actually down the road. There is a Porter John sitting right straight. I doubt you can see it through there. Here, boom, right there, Porter John. Anyways, so I'm gonna get camp set up. Uh, I got a couple other videos I wanna shoot today while I'm here, but I'm gonna move the truck back further. Uh, probably use this back area as my cooking st slash area. And of course, tent go right over in here. I hadn't looked. This is all gravel. This is definitely living pad area. Yeah, it's kind of a, a little bit of mixture of everything. So I'll even set my fire pit right here. I'll be all the way back in the back of the site. You won't even see. No, I'm here. So I'm liking this. Look at this. Look at this tree cover and stuff. And these trees have hardly turned as far as colors. Um, <laughs> I want to talk about a big difference. Two weeks ago I was camping, woke up Sunday morning, it was 31 degrees. It got cold to me. It got cold tonight. 57, 58 degrees for a low. Two weeks after the fact. But uh, I'm going to get set up. We're here. We're going to camp. Okay guys, I want to show you the map real quick of the campground. So here's here's the main part of the campgrounds. This is where you register and everything, the park office. This is all kinds of playground, bathrooms, leaf, hiking trails. Um, there's your other campgrounds, which is this one here. But I'm actually staying at Spring Creek, which is this one here. There's my site, 19, right there. <coughs> you have to go back out on the main road and go around till you get to Spring Creek. And then it's back here in the back on the peninsula by itself. And where my camp spot is, which is 19, is right here. So in theory, right behind through there is the river. And then right there is the river. So I'm actually surrounded on both sides by the river. <coughs> Thought I'd show you that real quick. Got the Shangri-La set up. And uh, well, I've got a couple other things I want to do. And I'm running back. All right, guys, so I'm just kind of hanging out. I'm about to fix me a cup of coffee, I think. Want me a cup of coffee, sit here, relax. And then I'm going to write in my journal. My wife got me this. Um, on the back it says, haven't been everywhere, but it's on my list. Show you that right there. 
but my wife got me this book it's called the camping log book record your adventure so that's what I've been doing I've been writing all the different campsites I've been at um, what I thought about them and everything and we'll do the same for this one um, but it had a place in the back where it says add your own right there so what I did was I dedicated this book to her this book was given to me by my loving wife Heather baby boo that's what we, that's what I call her her selflessness allowed me to take these adventures and compile all the info in this book thank you for your love and support you really don't know what this has meant to me like right now I'm looking across from me at the river inlet and the colors that are starting to pop on these trees are just gorgeous I'll have to take a picture of that here in a little bit um, they're just gorgeous and I mean we're getting bombarded by leaves because there's a lot of leaves falling because we just had enough rain and unfortunately the leaves are gonna fall before they really get to turn good but uh, this is my way of unwinding this is my way of letting go and I, I can tell the longer I'm out here the less stress is on me right now all right guys there's dinner for tonight steak and fried potatoes and I'm fixed to go sit beside that thing even though it's it's not cold feels good and then I'm gonna look at the lake and the fire at the same time you got the fire pit sitting up over there I'm sitting very good two feet away from it because it's too hot for it so I've got it mainly for light I got it on the lowest setting it can go it's gorgeous out there tonight it's quiet the winds not blowing still real cloudy which kind of bothers me a little bit because it shouldn't be it should be clear and stars out so I guess I won't be doing any astrophotography tonight I did some up at uh, Big South Fork I'll throw that picture in right now I took two, uh, it's one picture but I did two different things with it one is you can see the leaves and everything from the tree and then I took away the leaves and everything and went further up and then expanded it so you can really see the stars but I got a little tree to eat it's a uh, pumpkin bread my wife got at the store I thought I'll grab a piece of that and have it after supper but it's gonna be closer to bedtime before I eat that thing it's it's um I'm full let me throw you out towards the lake oh sorry oh, oh. hope you don't get motion sickness there's the lake or actually the river it's a lot darker than it looks on camera it really is but uh, anyway I forgot something I got to do so I'm gonna go do that and I'll be back probably in the tent at some point I'm gonna sit here and just enjoy all right guys it's nine o'clock I'm fixing to turn in turn down go to bed I'm gonna try to get up in the morning seven o'clock is uh, sunrise I'd like to be able to catch that and uh, get on video at least um, but anyway it's been a great day it's been an awesome day um, I have actually shot three videos this weekend including this one this one's one of them but yeah it's been a good weekend been productive weekend shall we say but uh, we'll see you in the morning um, I don't know it's not freezing cold I'm sitting here in a t-shirt tonight inside the tent it's really good I had the wind started blowing a little bit and it got a little chilly but I had the fire pit and I was fine but uh, anyway I'm going to bed actually I'm gonna finish listening to a book messaging a few people just for the heck of it and uh, I'll see you in the morning
So I've had my first sips of the lava slash coffee. It's got to cool for a little bit before it's enjoyable. But uh, sitting there with fire pit going. See? What a part. That's a nice part. Um, if you're looking for just a good relaxing time, I highly recommend it. If you want to get out and do some canoeing or kayaking or something, you got the river, you got these inlets you can paddle around. It's not so bad. You could do it. Oh yeah, still lava. Um, if you don't need electricity and all that crap, then this is a, a Site 19 I highly recommend. Highly recommend. You know, the other sites across from me are right on the water. But I kind of like where I'm at. I like the woods surrounding. So I highly recommend. Mouse tail landing. But it's just as gorgeous. It's quiet. I went to bed last night. It was a little after, a little, uh, a little after ten, and I didn't wake up, wake up again until five thirty this morning. I didn't even have to get up in the middle of the night to, you know, find a tree. But five thirty, I had to find a tree. But anyway, I'm gonna fix some breakfast. Tear all this down. I gotta head home. Got a concert tonight. Busy week. Chloe's got a show at school she's gotta put on. And this coming weekend, so. Bill's coming over. We got a Jeep event we're going to on the next weekend. I wanna try to figure out some new places to mount cameras. On some different views but for right now I'm gonna just sit here and take this in before getting back to the hustle and bustle and the squirrels are out the squirrels are running around like uh, I don't know they're just doing squirrel things. All right, guys, let's be back. All right, real quick, I thought I'd bring you up close and personal to the river. Also, back during the Civil War, it was known as the gateway to the deep south. crazy to think this runs all the way to Chattanooga and below so it's a major major thoroughfare especially back in the Civil War looking for an armadillo. Do you know where one is? I mean, seen two yesterday. I'd like to see another one today. Ma'am? Can, can, can you tell me where an armadillo is? How about your car insurance? Or your warranty? Is it paid up? Alright guys, we're going to call the trip here. I appreciate you watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I had a blast. Awesome camping trip. Um, beautiful park. Beautiful park. How you doing? Um, 
definitely worth checking out. If you're into fishing, uh, there's plenty of places to fish. If you want to do some hiking, there's some hiking trails. If you want to do some backpacking, there's some overnight shelters available to backpack to. But I'll leave the link to the park down below. Come check it out. And, uh, well, we'll see you on the next one. Be prepared.